Time once again for our weekly feature, Good Question, positive stories about local people, places, and history. And tonight, we go low to find a landmark that many downtown dog owners already know. Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Lynn from Bluffton. And our good question is, what's up with the weird fountain in Troop Square? Hmm. Good question. Let's find out. It is a beautiful monument to man's best friend. Press the silver button and water flows down to fill a pair of bowls at just the right height for hounds. But it wasn't always so. In 1897, the Meyer drinking fountain was donated by Mayor Herman Myers and placed in Forsyth Park. Uh, it was nine and a half feet tall and then on top it had a three foot statue of a maiden holding her uh, skirt like a, like a bowl and she had a seed in her mouth and seeds and it's meant to depict her feeding birds. Chris Baronato is the author of Secret Savannah. He says that back in the 1980s, the fountain was taken down for repairs, but instead of putting it back in Forsyth Park in its original size, the fountain was placed in Troop Square without the maiden and with a new mission, filling bowls at ground level so the dogs could drink out of it instead. Today, it is so popular with passing dogs and their owners that every October 4th, they hold the blessing of the pets here, honoring St. Francis of Assisi. It's one of a trio of tourist attractions in Troop Square. Baronata says if you're going to visit just one square, this could be it. For one thing, it has uh, the church where Jingle Bells was written. Um, it also has the armillary sphere right in the middle of the, of the square. And bring your pet, because the Meyer drinking fountain offers a cool sip of water in the dog days of summer. I don't know how many dogs drink out of it, and. Uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend people drink out of it, no. but it, 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 that could be happening too. I'm not sure. <laughs> we filled the fountain to the brim for this lucky one, but she still chose not to partake. Oh well, you can lead a dog to water, but you can't make her drink. That's for sure. Send your good questions to my professional Facebook page, Dale Julin, WJCL TV 22, and we will follow up and give you credit for it on the air, and your good question story will then appear on air and online at WJCL.com. You know, Jeremy, you know, it's hard to do real TV. I, I'm not going to tell the dog anything more than just, please, enjoy yourself right there. Yeah, but, but no. I love that. It looks like a hound, uh, yep. maybe a beagle mixed in there. So, so close uh, and yet so far. Got to love that.